As we are coming into more self-awareness, here are some questions to reflect on. Do I truly believe that the creator of the universe dwells inside of me? Are we taking on these thoughts and emotions into our consciousness? What would I feed this creator if they were to physically dine with me? Assalamu alaikum, hallelujah, all of that. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Amen. You know what I'm saying? We here. Another episode, Hood and Healthy. We live in Compton. Y'all already know where I'm at with it. I'm very excited for episode four. We're going to provide you with how you can replace step by step by step the dead animal rotting, decaying flesh and put more electric, alive, vitality giving food in your body. Now, I'm not here to try to convert nobody, to tell you to go vegan or vegetarian or whatever the case. I just want to show you how you can incorporate more plant-based foods and show you that we don't need the dead animal flesh. So I usually have a top five of things that we can combine with the herbs to get the taste of the dead animal flesh, if not even better. So first on the top five, number one, you feel me? You see what time it is. This zucchini, organic zucchini. We're gonna make some veggie burgers with this zucchini today and show you how you don't have to do too much, right? So you already know, number one, make sure knife is sharpened. And then boom, let's get right into it. Have some nice, thick slices. We're gonna make a couple of veggie burgers today. Boom. I love zucchini. This is some algae oil. You don't need too much. It's enough to coat. Once again, tapping with those sea plants, making sure that we can get all our minerals, nutrients, vitamins, even within our food as well. And then we can also just add one tiny, one little bitty drop of liquid smoke. A lot of us, we love that dead animal flesh because of the seasonings and the spices and that smoky flavor. And it actually works with our minds. When we tap into that type of stuff and bring it to these foods, it'll still fill us and give us the same emotions that we used to get as children. So also add a little drop of vinegar, just a little drop. Once again, this is some amber vinegar. I like trying different, different vinegars, different oils to keep expanding our mind. And then you know we gotta hit them with some certified pure therapeutic great oils as well. We got this rosemary. I love rosemary. The aroma of rosemary helps to stay calm. It helps improve the memory. It helps to focus. It helps to be present. We also got a drop of some basil oil as well. Just one tiny drop. Mm, you can smell it. 
very refreshing, very calming, soothing. And we're gonna put these powerful herbs into the food. Y'all already know how I feel about the herbs. Definitely with, a, I have this wonderful spice blend. It's Fresno peppers, pink Himalayan salt, Celtic sea salt, lime zest, and cayenne pepper. Definitely. So just a little bit. Yes. A lot of tapping with the spices, the herbs. Boom. Got my tongs. Put it on here. Coat it up real quick. We don't need a whole pound of oil. And once again, we can do the same things that we do on a dead animal flesh on the veggies. We don't just eat bland dead animal flesh. We season it. We marinate it. We coat it. Right? We can do all of that with the vegetables as well. So we can go ahead and grill our zucchini. Make sure that our grill is hot. Coat it with some more algae oil. Just a little bit. And this way, once again, you don't have to be a top chef. You can use the things that we have right in front of us. I love this little grill. Make sure the grill is hot. That's very important to get that nice, good color. And we can just go in there. And while this is grilling, we can be making the rest of our food. We got our burgers going. Now we're going to add our grilled onions and peppers. Definitely. With zucchini, you can make pasta, you can make burgers, you can slice it up, add it in the middle of your pasta, you can make skewers from it. You can do so much with zucchini. It's one of my favorite foods. It's in my top five, definitely. We're gonna add our peppers right up in there. N nice natural flavor. It'll have some seasonings from the grill already in it. Got our onion right here. Delicious flavor. I love sauteed onions. So, yeah, my top five, like I said, zucchini, eggplant, jackfruit, broccoli, and mushrooms. And you can use those with so many different ways. And I'm gonna get back to making this veggie burger. This big, juicy. You see a difference with that organic? And you can eat it raw or you can eat it cooked. I love to saute them and grill them as well. But for right now, we're going to just have a raw, juicy, delicious tomato right here. We got our fresh pick cucumber. Also, my cookbook, I teach you how to make pickles fresh. Have a little vinegar, bring it to a nice simmer, add some herbs, add some pepper to it. Pour that over the slices of the cucumber. Boom, you got some fresh pickles. But once again, I like it raw, pure electricity, pure liquid, so much minerals and vitamins in the cucumbers. Boom. We don't have to be so dependent upon the meat farmers and the dairy farmers. We can grow this ourselves. As y'all saw, I picked this from the Compton Community Garden. And we can save, once again, save time, save energy, save money, not have to go give everything to everybody else. Self-sustainability. That's the name of the game, right? Being in control of our destiny, being in control of our finances, not depending upon nobody to feed us. We can feed ourselves, we can feed our own family. We cannot be taught to talk about tearing down the system and all these type of things if we can't even feed ourselves. We have to be prepared for this journey of creating a new reality. Like I said, that's what it's all about to me, creating a new reality. And a part of that new reality is changing our thinking and accepting a lot of this stuff out here. It's information is just dogma. It's just indoctrination. It's just lies. People always come to me talking about, Timo, how do you get your protein? And I always ask them, first of all, what is protein? Do we know what protein is on a foundational level? I'm a foundational thinker. Protein is one of the amino acids. That just means protein is a part of the makeup of your DNA. So, example is, where do these animals that we eat get their protein from? We're not eating carnivore animals, are we? Cows aren't carnivores. They're getting their protein from, once again, all sear, from that green, from the grass. So that's the real protein, the Iron Man, like I said before, the ground, the earth, the sun. This organic food is pure light, pure light, pure minerals. This is pure water, this is pure mineral water, this is pure alkaline water, this can come right here. Mm. We can get everything we need from Mother Nature. 
These zucchinis is grilled. They ready to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of organic plant-based mayo to it. Just a little drop. Boom, get it going. And this, this is right here, sprouted organic bread. Make sure you're getting sprouted bread. Get that alive, activated, vitality bread. Not dead bread, alive bread. Sprouted bread right there. Got some organic ketchup right here. You already know everything organic on this side. Mm. Got some organic barbecue. You already know how to get down. Onions and peppers ready to go right here. You feel me? Grilled. No need for no season. Let them nacho flavors occur. Let me get these off the grill too. For the next burgers. Mmm. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So we got our veggie burgers and also we got our eggplant bacon very crispy delicious i love eggplant bacon it's once again eggplant top five we can put eggplant in so many different ways if we just take some time educate ourselves inform ourselves make simple different decisions got our fresh pick butter lettuce our fresh pick tomato fresh pick cucumbers and wait it's not all you already know hit you with that avo, you feel me? Get all of our, get all of our natural fats, our omega threes, things of that nature. I love avocado. Put this on the burger. Boom! Look at this. Y'all see this? Y'all sleep on the boy. Now we got this extremely vitality, extremely alive mineral, you feel me, food that gives you energy. Food is supposed to give you energy. Food is supposed to give you electricity. Food is supposed to wake you up. If your food is making you sleepy, is it food? But I forgot my secret weapon, watermelon fries. This recipe for the watermelon fries is actually in my kids cookbook. And you can actually learn how to make this yourself as well. That way we can continue to feed more healthier food to our next generation. Very simple, very easy to make. Boom, watermelon, french fries. With a drizzle of coconut ranch. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, get in there, yes. Drizzle it, drown it. Y'all ready for this? Look at, for real. I don't even want to bite it. It's like, like art. Mm. Man. Mm. 